You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. In the presence of the deputy chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the club organized the 12th race of the season, which consisted of nine rounds and was held on the Lexus Cup sponsored by Ibrahim Khalil Kano Company. The Fatih Al Hajri Arabian Horse Cup and the Royal Golf Cup which took place in the racetrack in Arrafah Sakhir. The race was also attended by a number of their highnesses and representatives of the sponsors of the race. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa received the Fatis Al Hajri Cup from Ahmed bin Rashid Al Hajri. His Highness also received the Lexus Cup for the seventh round from the board of directors of Ibrahim Khalil Kano, member Isa Kano, who presented the Lexus Cups to the winners, where he presented the Lexus Cup for the second round to the winner Fauzi Nas and the Lexus Cup for the fourth round for the winning owner Hamid Ibrahim Ramehi and the fifth round cup to Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa and the Lexus Cup for the eighth round to his Highness Sheikh Nadir bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. While the representative of the Royal Golf Club, Mr. Marn, presented the club trophy to the winner, Alan Smith, then the executive director of Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa, presented the club trophy to the winner, Ali John.
The Ministry of Housing is responsible for providing adequate housing for families with limited income in Bahrain. An implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King and with the support and follow-up of His Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the government continues to attach great importance to the housing services and its programs, emphasizing the importance of continuing housing services to citizens with the highest degree of efficiency. The government indicated during joint meetings with the legislative authority that the housing project's budget and the state's general budget for the fiscal years 2021 and 2022 includes a number of housing projects and services services in various governorates of the kingdom, including Medina Salman and Dera Ayun housing projects in Diyar Mharag, the Mazaya project and the East Sitra housing project. The Kingdom of Bahrain ranked third internationally in the percentage of those who got vaccinated out of every 100 individuals, which is about 8.4 percent. Bahrain's achievement confirms the national efforts made to tackle the virus. The National Task Force reiterated the necessity of taking the second dose of the anti-coronavirus vaccination at the specified time to form long-term antibodies, stressing at the same time the importance of adhering to the precautionary measures and adhering to preventive measures by everyone, including those who received the vaccine. The national campaign for vaccination continues amid a turnout of citizens and residents to take the anti-COVID-19 vaccine, realizing its importance as a necessity to maintain the health and safety of the society. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,941 active cases with 308 recoveries and 332 registered new cases. 153 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 168 were contacts of active cases and 11 were travel related. The ministry announces the death of a 97-year-old male citizen and expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased. The ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force to combat COVID-19.